after so many years of being in development and being a failed attempt at a TV series in the late 70s, Doctor Strange is finally gets his big screen due. This film has been in development for years. One point, horror, the late great horror director Wes Craven has was considered directing a version of this film. At some point, even McLovin himself, Patrick Dempsey, was considered for the role. I don't know if he'd be as good as uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was. I gotta say, this movie was was good. It was... You think you've seen a Marvel film, but you haven't seen a Marvel film quite like this. It kind of... I feel like... I know this is based on a comic book, but I feel like this movie borrows elements of Inception and The Matrix. And man, this movie just... It's like one trippy ride. <laughs> you feel like you're dreaming, but you're awake. Kind of what Inception did, but this movie goes further than what you thought Inception did. Hmm. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Stephen Strange. Uh, a doctor who is a jerk, but kind of a likable jerk. I mean, he's, he's dedicated to being a doctor, but that's kind of about all he's good at. Gets into a serious accident where he loses the use of his hands. Oh, he can move them, but he can't be a doctor anymore, and he grows frustrated after so many surgeries with little attempts. But then he hears this about this miracle worker in this Tibet, and he goes there only to discover she's not a doctor. She's a a wizard and she's called the ancient one and she's played by Tilda Swinton but and Doctor Strange becomes so intrigued by it that he wants to learn too and boy does he ever and that's about all I'm gonna tell you I mean this is a pretty good movie I mean but like I said you think you know a Marvel film but this Marvel film takes you uh, takes you to areas and places you've never seen. I'm telling you. <laughs> and Benedict Cumberbatch is a pretty darn good Doctor Strange. I mean, I mean he plays it well. He has this very good, dry sense of humor to what he does and all that stuff. I mean, he just really fits the character. He he is very comfortable in the role, and uh, it's hard to imagine anybody else who could who can play it at this point. Chawulti F. Forer, I think I said his name right, is also good as Mondo, who is assistant to the Ancient One. Mads Michelson as Cassilius' his name is also a good villain. I mean, you, if you've seen him as Le Chief in Casino Royale, you know he can play a very, very good, evil, subtle villain just to a certain degree, man. <laughs> he's just, he's good when he doesn't show any emotion. You just, you just see the evil in his eyes. Rachel McAdams was good, although most of the time, I mean, lately in her roles, I can't even tell if she's acting or just being Rachel McAdams. And does this movie have an end credits? Come on, this is a Marvel film. What do you think? <laughs> but I gotta say, the special effects are good. I mean, and all that. I mean, is there a Stanley cameo? Yeah. What do you? Yeah, of course there is. I'm not going to say the what the end credits are, but it it definitely leaves you it definitely it definitely leaves you wanting more. That's what the end credits kind of do for you. I got to say about Tilda Swinton does a good uh, gives a good pretty good performance as the ancient one. I mean, the roles I've seen her, she rarely plays any likable roles, but it's good to see her play a likable character. I mean, she does have the patience of Yoda, and then uh, I can't I can't think of much bad things to say. It's a pretty decent Marvel film. That's like nothing you've ever seen. It's different from what you would expect a Marvel film to be, but 
and that would be that. I mean, I'm eagerly waiting more, so I give Doctor Strange a 9 out of 10. Bye-bye.